Thank you for joining us today. Today we're going to try to answer the question, should you buy or sell a butterfly? We'll start with, what is a butterfly options trade? First of all, they can be used as a volatility, probability, or even a directional trade. You must either use calls or puts. You can't mix and match in a butterfly trade. Take a look at the two graphics on the screen and you can get an idea of the risk profile of each a long and a short butterfly. To build your butterfly, you should have twice as many option contracts at point B as you do at either point A or point C. Think of a 1 to 2 to 1 ratio or a 2 to 4 to 2 ratio or a 4 to 8 to 4 ratio. You should also have the same strike distance between point A and B as you do between point B and C for a proper butterfly. One good question people normally ask us is should you build your butterfly with calls or puts? The easy answer is whichever one gives you the best credit if you are selling or the cheapest if you are buying. You can also choose based on the direction you believe the underlying security is going to go. However, we are not going to go over that today. So, what is the difference between buying or selling a butterfly? Not to simplify it too much, but risk versus reward and the probability of profitability. We rarely buy butterflies. Typically, we prefer to sell butterflies when volatility is spiking or we are expecting a news event. Perhaps the best way to explain the differences would be with an example. Let's assume Tesla is trading at 297.04 and that implied volatility is currently at 55.97. We're not going to get into implied volatility today, but you can get more information on our website about it. It is important in the way we trade butterflies. We are going to sell the March 15 options, which expire in 49 days. We are going to sell one March 280 call. We're going to buy two March 295 calls. And we're going to sell one March 310 call for a credit of $1.33 or $133. Probability of success is very important to the way we trade butterflies. On this trade, we have an 87% chance of profitability. This is based on the strikes we chose, the credit we received, time to expiration, and current volatility. The break-even points on this trade are about 281.34 and 308.65. Our maximum risk is about 13.67, and our max profit would be the $133 credit we received. But remember, we have an 87% chance of break-even or better. So what would it look like if we bought this same butterfly? This time we would buy one March 15 280 call, sell two March 15 295 calls, and buy one March 15 310 call. This time we're going to pay $1.33 to get into this trade, or $133. On this trade, our probability of success is only 13%. Our break even points are still about the same. 281.34 and 308.65. Our maximum risk is our debit of $133. Our maximum potential profit is $13.67, which sounds really good, but Tesla has to expire exactly at point B to get max profit. Anywhere else and our profit drops off very quickly. In truth, you probably have about a 1% chance or less at hitting max profit on this one. We are probability traders. Therefore, we would normally choose the 87% chance of a profitable trade over a 13% chance of a profitable trade. There is a lot more that goes into these type of trades than what we could put in a short video. So please visit our website, tradeforprofits.com, for more information on these types of trades as well as others. But we will let you in on a little secret right now. 
our odds are actually higher than 87%. As soon as we short a butterfly, we immediately place a good to cancel order in 50% of the potential profit. We never hold these until expiration. In fact, if it starts getting close to expiration, there's a point when we will just manually close these at whatever profit or loss is currently showing. We would also like to point out that 87% was just the probability on this particular trade. Typically when we short a butterfly, we try to get probabilities above 65%, preferably above 70%. Trading involves risk. We are not suggesting that you should trade these types of trades. We provided this video strictly for educational content. Any new strategy, you should always paper trade until you're very familiar with it. And always keep in mind, it is possible to lose more money than you have invested but when you trade options. We hope you enjoyed our short video on the difference between buying and selling a butterfly. Remember, there's a lot more that goes into our butterflies than just what we have in this presentation. If you'd like to know more, please visit our website at tradeforprofits.com. We would also like for you to follow us on Twitter at tradeforprofits1. At the bottom of the screen, you can see three of our books. Shortcuts to Profitable Trading is a good book if you do not know a lot about options trading. Uh, it's a good primer for those that just getting started. The two Watch Me Trade books are actually our, our trade journals. You can see our actual trades and find out what we were thinking as the trade went on. See a lot of the mistakes we made as well. If you like this video, please click the like button and also subscribe to our channel as we will be posting more videos like this.